Leadership and command fitness leaders working together can promote a culture of health and fitness across the fleet. Command PT is important for both the command and the sailor. It's important for the command, it gives the command the opportunity to assess every sailor on a regular basis. It'll help identify sailors who have issues or may be struggling with their own personal routines and it actually help the sailor in learning new routines or different areas that they may be stuck on. If you can get somebody excited on a, on a fitness routine, you really have to do something that they like. The command has to get out of what we used to do in high school and college, what we did in early boot camp, what we did at the schools. We have to realize that fitness has come a long way. We're just not doing the push up, the curl up, and run till we puke. That is old style. Keep sailors interested. If they're doing the same thing day in and day out, they get bored and they don't want to show up because it's boring. Different activities such as aerobics or some sort of step has benefits that many sailors may not be aware of. One, it breaks up the routine of the same old monotony of just running and running and running. You start using muscles that you didn't even know you had just by trying something different. An effective command PT program is one that has the leadership actively engaged. If the CO and the XO and the CMC are making it to command PT, sailors will make it to PT every time. For more information, visit the Navy Physical Readiness webpage on www.npc.navy.mil. From Navy Personnel Command, I'm Petty Officer Andrea Perez.